you noticed, if you look at the last update, that the fencing that they uh, didn't have in place because they obviously needed better access to the track, that is now in place. So where the, the actual color change is, right there. Let's see if I can point it. Right there. That's where uh, it was before and now it is completely in place. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to stain it all a different color or not. But yeah, that's in place. So uh, construction uh, crew has been working still, uh, well, they probably wrapped up for the day. It is around 5 o'clock-ish on Saturday. So at this angle you'll see that they had uh, a few things that they have completed. But for the most part, uh, no trains in sight that we can see uh, directly. But but uh, definitely we're gonna take a look uh, on the other side, uh, just, like, just as we did earlier on the flip side. But we're gonna actually go right next to it, see what we can do, and uh, get some more footage for you. Again, this is the weekly update for mm -hmm. Twisted Cyclone. Let's check the other side and see if, uh, if we have any more progress. Oh, looks like they are actually testing trains. Trains are testing now, and here we go. And there we go, one more test run here at Six Flags Over Georgia, Twisted Cyclone. We have the crews in place, they are still on site. You'll see that the fencing itself is obviously in place, so they are definitely looking to protect all the angles. We expect the fencing on the outside to be in place soon too once this crane's out of the way. But there we have it, we have testing on Twisted Cyclone here at Six Flags Over Georgia. Let's take some more angles and uh, we'll see what else we can find. And over on this side we have, uh, they're working on potentially lining up and specking up a few things on the track. Not really sure what they found in the first or his first few test runs. But you do also see, while we're waiting, that there is, uh, the exit area is all complete. Uh, for the most part, the ramp, the fencing, this fence here is out a little further as a result of that. So there you have it. They are working up there. Maybe we'll get another test run. We'll go outside and see what we can find out and see if we can get a different angle and get one more in before the night's over. But uh, yes, test runs for the trains of Twisted Cyclone have begun. Hey, Coach Tanks, okay, on this side over here, I we're competing with the music, so I hope that uh, audio is okay. The, um, waiting for some more test runs, but you see that the exit is actually there too. And it's all nice and neat. It's um, all fresh, and it exits actually into that building over there. And that actually is where um, you'll get your ride photo. So that's all in place. Everything, for the most part, looks like it's in place. We're just gonna wait and see if we get some more angles of test run. Uh, bear with us here, and we're gonna get a different angle. But they are working on it. Test runs have been happening, as you saw earlier. We're just waiting to see how many more they have uh, for the day and uh, we'll, we'll see more and more progress. But right here, if you zoom in, you'll see that's where you exit out of the, uh, off the ride, exit down the ramp. Probably get a nice photo right there for you. And then you can uh, continue the exit all the way down and underneath, and that'll get you over to the, uh, to the merchandise area. You get some nice t-shirts if you want to buy those, and you also get uh, your ride photo. Get your, uh, we have the season pass, the unlimited photo pass, or you can purchase them as well. So we don't know where that's going to be at on the ride. Uh, see if we can try to scan to see exactly where they've added the uh, ride photo, but that's something we're going to be looking for here in the next couple of days.